Someone is always in PTO in your team and they block their time off in their calendars, Outlook. But that doesn't stop them from getting assigned to Jira issues. Instead of going back to those issues to reassign them manually, we are going to connect Outlook Calendar to Jira Cloud. And then Jira issues can be reassigned automatically to somebody else every time someone in the team is not available. Whether you're in support, Q&A, sales, marketing, or any other business area, this trick is for you. Hi, I'm Björn, co-CEO of Resolution, and welcome to this tutorial of our SAP integration between Outlook and Jira. What you will need to create this connection is access to your Outlook calendar, makes sense, a free SAP account, and a trial license of Out of Office Assistant for Jira, our app. And last but not least, user access to your Jira Cloud instance. Note that this connection has to be done for each user. You can also check this video tutorial to understand how the assistant works. Let's create the Zap from scratch. A Zap consists of at least two pieces, a trigger and an action. In our case, we want this flow. When a new time of event is created in Outlook, then create an absence in Jira. Once you have created an account on sapio.com, you can click on Create New Zap. First, we need to look for Outlook in the trigger. Now we are in the editor. Here we have to select the event, New Calendar Event, then Continue. Next, we need to sign in. Afterwards, we can select the calendar where my events will be. Here there are two options. I can use my regular calendar, but then I will have to add a filter. So that's my normal meetings, don't block Jira. Or I can create a separate calendar in Outlook, something like my absences. When I connect this calendar to Sapir, then everything that I create on this calendar will create an absence in Jira. It's up to you. In this video, we'll connect the regular calendar, which is just called calendar. And this is the most common method. Once the calendar is selected, we click on continue and test the connection. Success. Let's move over to the action. Now let's just type Jira to find out of office assistant and select the app. The event is a second. Add or update absence. Click on it and then click continue once it loads. Then we have to connect out of office for Jira. Click on sign in and you will be prompted to enter an API token. To get it, you can copy the suggested URL and just include your Jira cloud domain. You should land in a page like this. If you don't have the option to create a REST API token like this, you should ask your Jira admin to give you permissions. Once you do, simple, click on Create REST API Token. Then click again, the button turns yellow. And pass the API token to connect. Then click on Continue, the window closes and Sapir goes on. Click on Continue to set up the action. Let's find the start date and outlook and make sure that the variable has sample data not like this one. Let's do the same for the end date. We want to make sure that we send accurate dates to Jira. The message can be something generic, like I'm out of office. Now we arrive to the filter. If you filter with a de uh, dedicated calendar, you can skip this step. However, we didn't do that, so we need to filter now. We will tell Sapir to only send events that contains the acronym OOO in the event subject. You can build the rest for your rule. For the rest of the options, remember to watch the full tutorial link in the description. Just remember to test your ZAP and publish it. And when we now create an event called OOO Family Wizard, we will see the rule pop up in Jira.
Now you know how the connection works. If you want to create it faster, you can use a ready-made Zap. Simply go to the link in the description of this video or Google Outlook out of Office Jira and click on the Sapier link. You will arrive to this landing page. Click on try this template and you will arrive to the same builder but after you connect the two applications and reach to the out of office assistant setup you will see that most of the information has already been mapped for you. Start date, end date as well as the filter are already there for you. To finish setting it up it's enough to select which projects should be included. And then you can save. Of course, you can also add covers and the other settings that we worked on. You may be wondering, but what do I do with my classic automatic replies in Outlook? How can I connect those? Well, there's also a way to connect classic out of office replies with Outlook 365 and that's quite easy. To make it work, make sure you have your ZEP created and its function. Then open Outlook 365, go to the settings icon on the top right and look for out of office or automatic replies. Once they're checked, automatic replies on. Send replies only during a time period. Block my calendar for this period. Then give the event a name. And guess what? You will have to use the filter keyword if you set up one. In our case, it will be OOO. And save it. This event will show in your calendar and also create a rule in Jira. That's it. Remember that you can also connect Google Calendar or HR apps like Personio, Bamboo HR and many, many more. And if you have any issues creating the connection, you can always reach out to our support in the link in the description of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you have fun with your absence, hopefully vacation and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.